Okay, Kalita. Well, this is R, and this is your first um, example in how to create a random variables. Random variables or random data is good to create it when we need to do simulations. So in this tutorial, I will share with you, uh, show you how to create random variables. Um, again, this is when we need to do some um, vis uh, visualization and some random, okay? So I want to create 10 random variables, okay? So I'm gonna put 10, and then I will use here another or norm and another 10. Now you will notice that I'm writing here because this is my working um, console and this is my executable console. So on this one is like a notepad. So if I make mistake, I can fix it very easy. And here is difficult because this is the executable um, compile uh, console. And here is where I will see my environment, like import data sets or the data sets that I start to create. And here I can use my plots. So when I have these, I do copy and paste and I move it to the console. Use when I see like I don't have errors and see what happened here. I create my 10 random variables from one to 10 random variables. Now I will copy the Y and I will put it here and I will execute and then it's here in my global environment, my values and my random variables. This is a data set. So if I go here to my console and I type X, I will see the numbers. So I start with one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is eight. That's why you, you see here eight, eight, nine, 10. If I type Y, same thing. So this is the data set that I have created um, randomly. Now, what I want to show you is, well, what can we do with that? Well, let's go to plot that. So because I already have a set of numbers, which is for X and a set of values for Y, I can plot this. And there we go. I have it here. Now, what is even more cool is like, well, let me go back here, uh, plot, um, X comma Y comma and what I can do now I can give um, I can give labels so I can put X label I will put this 10 uh, random values always use comma from every sentence Y label and this will be 10 other random values so now if i copy these and paste here you will see what's going to happen here so at the moment is x and y they want to execute this now it changed it gives us the name 10 random values 10 random values and i actually i can put uh, 10 random values uh, on X and 10 random values of Y. I copy and I paste and then it give me 10 random values in X, 10 random values in Y. And then I can use, I can do more. I can, I can use the limit. Um, I can um, amplify this limit because at the moment is from negative 1.5 to to 1.5 and I can change here if I if I go to my x limit well let's go to do it if I go to x limit I need to use column because there is two values remember that we have this So I will say from negative three comma three 
and then I will do this and then my y limit which is c which is from negative 3 comma 3 and then close parentheses okay so in this one I given um, x limit and y limit so I will go here copy and there we go so I move from negative 3 to 3 and from negative 3 to 3 so I have all these data more concentrated here of course I always can change this to put it bigger or smaller so we can go to 5 so I will see my data more cluster and here is you see I start to see my data and of course we can change the color of the data we can make a dot these dots can be red and white or can be red and blue and so on but this is an example of how we can generate uh, data random data for simulations and then of course we will be doing more like regression analysis and find the distance between the points which is called the variance and the covariance and we will measure the error but this is um, just your first uh, example in how to generate random variables random values okay Kala well we will start to learn um, R for statistical analysis I hope you like this